A healthy community would start off with, with people having access to, to being able to, to find ways to do it for themselves too, like for people to have outlets for that because a lot of times people don't have access to, to being creative or, or they're busy doing other stuff. So if, if one, one road would be to, to have a world where people kind of can kind of like, like I get energy from seeing my students work hard or seeing their parents working hard, um, a world where people are kind of like reconnecting on that level and, and finding, finding out that, that we all have that in us, that we all have that, that little fire that, that wants to create or wants to change the world or wants to make it better for everybody. You know, that's what got me started was looking at these beautiful paintings in a museum or in a book or in a, on a wall or listening to a, a wonderful song in person or on the radio or, and wanting to copy it or wanting to, wanting to do something just like it. And I think that that's one, one start. Well, Boyle Heights is just like any other community that, that w is within Los Angeles or, or anywhere else. It's got people that, that are trying to raise their families and trying to, to make an honest living and um, has a difficult time finding access to, to some of the resources that other communities have. I, th I think of like the people that, that, that are my peers who who see it as an important thing to, to come back to, you know, and, and help it change or grow. This year specifically, I had, I had some kids that were, they were really good at expressing themselves visually and creating really beautiful artwork. And, and I just saw this in, in this one little boy who, whose father is in prison for life for running over somebody while he was drunk driving. Like this little boy has this f sad face every single day and it's like the mom, I see the mom and she's just there struggle, struggling and being there with his kid and, and her other, her, with her other kids. But um, when he would draw, he would draw these amazing things and he could sit at his desk and draw and draw and draw. Other kids, you know, they kind of get bored with drawing after a while, but he just came out with the most beautiful, intricate drawings that I had, had seen in a long time all kids can draw really beautifully and if we can I kind of go back to that and see like how how innocent and how how free it is like without any hang-ups and without feeling like by the time they get in third grade they still feel really optimistic about their artwork by the time they get to fifth grade they don't want to show it to anybody because it doesn't look like what it looks like in the real world but in third grade they don't have hang-ups and they come up with some beautiful artwork that's free of any like feelings of oh this doesn't look right because it always looks right to them you know it's just like a raw, like straight from here, straight into the, the paper, you know, it's, it's really beautiful.